Hello everyone, good to see you. Today, we want to talk about profile of a surface. As we can see, we have this surface profile symbol here. By implementing this symbol, we are going to check the shape of that surface. Let's see this example. We have this surface profile symbol and this tolerance zone, we are going to refer to this, refer to this surface. It means we are going to have two parallel surfaces with this distance, 0.1, and this surface should be in that interval. Let's see second example here. We have surface profile symbol here and TZ is 0.03 and we have two datums A and B. By having these two datum planes, we are going to eliminate five degree of freedoms and then we are going to have two parallel surfaces with the same shape to check the shape of that. By comparing these two examples, we can see sometimes we are going to have reference plane and sometimes we don't have it. Here, we have this table. We are going to make four different groups based on the way of dimensioning. Do we use basic dimensioning or size with tolerance? And do we have any datum reference or not? Do we check the cylinder? How many feature control frames do we have it? Based on different situation, we are going to check different items in that component. It can be form, copolarity, orientation, location, size, cylindricity. We are going to discuss all of them one by one. Just as an example, I'm going to show here we don't have any reference in the left hand side. We can see we don't have any reference plane here. It means we are going to check just the profile of this surface, as we can see. Two parallel surfaces with the same shape of that surface, and the surface should be in that table. We can see these surfaces there. And in the right hand side, we can see this example under the table. We can see we have a reference plane A here, and here for the angle, we have basic dimensioning. It is in the box. We are going to control the orientation of the surface through the depths. Here, in the last one at the bottom, right hand side, we can see we have again reference plane A here, and this basic dimension is, is implemented here, it means we are going to control the location of this surface. For today, I'm going to talk about just how we are going to control the form of a curved surface. Let's see this example. We have surface profile symbol here, TZ is 0.0. 002 from A to B. It means we are going to have two parallel surfaces with this distance and this surface should be in that interval. The right hand side, we can see we have these surfaces, it is a sphere and this symbol is referred to that with this TZ. It means we are going to have two spheres with this distance 0 0.02 and this sphere should be in that interval. We are going to check just the shape, the form of that surface. Let's see this example. The first item as we can see here in this view all dimensions are basic but in this view we have TZ for the size and this profile is going to check by this symbol as we can see, we have a circle. It means for all boundaries, we are going to make upper and lower boundary symmetry through the depths. And the depths can be changed in this interval, 30 plus minus 0 0.5. If I'm going to compare this example with this example, they are exactly the same, but 
the size to the depth is basic here. It is inside the box, it is 30. It means this depth also is going to check by this profile tolerances. Tolerance room for that is, let's say, plus minus 0 0.2. The total tolerance is 0 0.4. We have two circle here in this conjunction. Here we have one circle here. Here, the component should be in that volume with this tolerance 0 0.4. But here, it is not a closed volume here. It is a hollow tunnel, let's say and through the depth it should be in that interval 0 0.4 here it is the same we have let's say basic dimensioning we have surface profile symbol here and tz is this value we are going to have two parallel surfaces with the same shape and this translating these two is 0 0.014 Let's see the second example here. We have the same symbol here. Total TZ is 0 0.5. And we have U inside the circle. We have a number after this symbol. What does it mean? It means unequal boundaries. As we can see, this 0 0.1, the number after the U, means we should implement this number in a way to add mass to that component. For this example, in order to add mass to this component, we are going to have this upper boundary and lower boundary. And it should be in the same shape as we know. If we are going to have 0 0.1 here as the upper boundary, and total tolerance is 0 0.5, it means this lower boundary is 0 0.4. In this example, we can see the total TZ is 1, and in a way to add mass for this profile or for this component, we should have 0 0.6, as it is mentioned in the second box after U here. It means we are going to have upper boundary and lower boundary in a way to add mass, we should have 0 0.6 in that direction. And here, lower boundary is 0 0.4 for sure because the total is 1. Now I would like to close this session. In coming session I'm going to talk about this profile of surface copolarity. Thank you for today. I hope you enjoy it. See you next time.